From the other side of the footlights, here is WHRO critic M.D. Ridge. Tis the season for season openers, and the Norfolk Chamber Consort was no exception. At Christ and St. Luke's Church in Norfolk on September 29th, their program of Pergolesi and Bach was dedicated to the memory of Dr. Lee J. Tepley, who died suddenly in July, having taught at Old Dominion University since 1986. A longtime proponent of early music, Dr. Tepley would have been pleased with this music. The program began with an aria from Bach's St. John Passion, conducted and arranged by NCC co-director Andrei Kasparov. Petite soprano Alessandre Astete, winner of the second prize in the Lisa Relaford Coston voice competition, had a lovely floating tone as the beloved disciple who follows Jesus with joyful steps. She'll be one to watch in coming years. Giovanni Battista Pergolesi, who was only 26 when he died in 1736, was famous for his comic and serious operas as well as his sacred music. His Stabat Mater, written in the year of his death, is for soprano, alto, string orchestra, and basso continuo on the traditional 13th century text about the Virgin Mary's suffering at the foot of the cross. Each verse has three lines in an 887 meter. Soprano Elizabeth Hogue and mezzo Robin Redmond sang Pergolesi's highly ornamented duets and arias with rich beauty, one voice spinning out of the other in gorgeous waves of pure sound. Each singer had effortless octave leaps, particularly in the fifth and ninth movements. The latter asked for Redmond's very lowest notes, which came through clearly and dramatically. The final movement was a lively, joyful, spiraling amen. The very good instrumentalists were the same as for the Pergolesi, but countertenor Chris Dudley and soprano Emily Noel had early music voices, not operatic ones. The difference is a straighter tone with much less vibrato and exquisitely precise ornamentation. Dudley's voice was simply spectacular, with an almost otherworldly quality in both solo arias and duets. Noel's sparkling soprano was extraordinarily expressive, agile, and exhilarating. Together, their intonation was immaculate, their phrasing intense and intuitive. Dudley had flown in from Britain for this concert. He teaches at Washington College in Maryland. Noel, a Peabody graduate, sang opera in Europe and decided it wasn't for her. She teaches voice at Franklin and Marshall College in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I hope we hear more from both of them. The orchestra was comprised of violinist Allegra Torlano Havens and Anna Debrisian, violist Anastasia Mignozzi, cellist Jeffrey Phillips, double bassist Christopher White, and harpsichordist Oksana Lutzician, with Christ and St. Luke's music director Kevin Kwan on organ. Both the Pergolesi and the Bach require something like perpetual motion from all the instrumentalists. There is no sitting out for 46 measures and easing back in again, just full ahead music making of a very high order indeed. From the other side of the footlights, I'm M.D. Ridge. <laughs> 